So, to try and lighten the mood, let's talk about Count Dankula. He's uh, 50th in line for the throne, I think, as a count. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he uh, he noticed the mourning about the uh, death of Her Majesty and the ridiculous statements being said by some of the foreigners yeah. and the locals, and uh, he just went through having some fun. But we'll mention first, of course, if you want to spot us, go over to lotusias.com and you can check out the guest interview with Count Dankula here, him being one of the epochs, a historic mad lads. Mm. But we shall begin. Because, of course, this meme succinctly puts how everyone is feeling. Uh, British people today, uh, beans everywhere. Yep. Which, yep, fair enough. Good meme. Fair enough. However, Count Dankula did one better, of course. If you're the next one here, we can see him uh, just tweeting out a picture of the Emperor on the Golden Throne with Liz as the face. A thousand Labour voters a day. All I'm saying is this is memetically very good. Yeah. For people who don't follow 40k law, the Emperor is kept on the Golden Throne by sacrificing 1,000 souls uh, psychers well, yeah, 1,000 psychers a day, yeah. So sacrificing 1,000 labor voters is uh, a fair deal, I would have thought. <laughs> but he also, as you can see, changed his profile quite a bit. I don't know who does <laughs> He's it. not a Supreme Court judge anymore. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? He you know, really gets around. Yeah. He is now uh, Dan McCulloch, Duke of Cumbernauld, yep. OBE MVP, <laughs> verified checkmark, <laughs> with a very wonderful I'd Photoshop. Say, it's, the ver it's the verified checkmark and the profile picture that does it. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Mm. I also love that he changed his description to Keeper of the Royal Hounds, 37th in line for the throne, and uh, Crown Respector, uh, RG Deflector. <laughs> 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 I don't want to talk about Ireland. Hashtag Rangers Football Club. <laughs> it's just, just oh okay <laughs> people who don't know in scotland uh, uh rangers and celtic have a very wonderful series of chants about each other that are banned and if you do them you get jail time <laughs> so <laughs> that's how serious it all is but let's go to him enjoying interacting with the randos because he started getting nice responses from americans because if you scroll up on this here's him saying uh, thank you mr president for your support <laughs> and uh some Wonderful chap. Turned oh. up and said, best wishes for you, Granny. That's kind. Thank you very much. Most of them did not go like this. <laughs> All right, okay. Because if you go to the next one, he uh, responded to uh, uh, people saying, uh, please say a prayer. Oh, for poor our... Sue at the bottom, his wife just, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> please say a prayer for dearest Grandmama. <laughs> Sue's like, oh no. Why do you hate Grandmother so much? <laughs> <laughs> And then he started replying to other big threads, especially from the royal family here, being uh, saying it's a very dark day for the whole family. And there are a lot of morons in the world, specifically one Indian here who decided to be very moronic, responding with uh, India wants its Kohundor back. Don't know what that is. And Dank just responds, no, I love that restaurant. Very good. <laughs> if we go to the next one here, it's also someone saying, uh, what about the paedophile one? Which one? <laughs> Can you narrow it down, please? Yeah. <laughs> the next one, of course, in the same vein. Uh, darker than whatever Prince Andrew did. We don't talk about Uncle Andrew. Which is true. Yes. And the next one here being someone celebrating the whole thing. And a bright day for normal people. Yay, she's dead. And Dank responding, I've checked your profile and you're not normal. Hmm. Her profile is indeed not normal, as we shall see. <laughs> Socialist Hoodbilly from Kentucky. <laughs> like, <laughs> that image, uh, the profile there, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Schizotypical schizoid with fibro. <laughs> Hearts, cats, kawaii, and destroying capitalism. Stop, Stop ig ignoring COVID. With a mask emoji. In Just the current mental. Year. Just mental. Yeah, I think if this person's celebrating it, I think we'll leave them alone. They'll probably be celebrating their, their feces later. We'll go to the next one. We have more. There's someone responding, lol, at all these royal D suckers out there. This is why everyone hates England. Uh, Dank responding, a Scot. I should have known. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice because, of course, it's Scottish. <laughs> Next one being an Indian just saying, good riddance. Uh, Dank saying, well said. The same thing was said in 1947 in regards to India. You know, a lucky bloody escape, frankly, considering how everyone responded when we left. We just started killing each other. <laughs> Again, I can't get over the victim narrative I see from some Indians, not all Indians, of course. No. Uh, just when they speak about the fact that when you guys left, it all went to hell. And I was like, and also we hate you of being there to begin with. It's like, pick one. I'll, I'll, I'll find with whatever one you pick, just pick one. Yeah. There's also someone else saying here from India, and die in hell, we will revenge Jaliwawa Bagh massacre one day, a warning to Britain from India. <laughs> okay. uh, dank going and the streets will flow with S. Which is also true. I'm pretty sure, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the massacre in which uh, a curfew was pronounced. The Indians yeah. ignored the curfew, and the British commander in charge went, Ch -ch -ch, I did tell them, and then killed a whole bunch of them. 
uh, to send a message. The response at the time was not the British Parliament. What century was that? I believe that was in the, I, th I think it's the 1800s. Right. If I'm correctly remembering. All I'm saying is they, they don't know anyone connected to that. No, they don't. But also, the British Parliament didn't cheer on and go, thank you, dear Stalin, for sorting no, out No, he rebels. was in trouble for that. No, he, the guy lost his rank. The yeah. whole parliament was appalled. And yeah. even Churchill said a statement saying this was the worst uh, day for all of British history. I was like, really? Huh. <laughs> it's almost like we weren't the Soviets or the Chinese or yeah. the Japanese or the Indian government. No, anyway. <laughs> we move forward. We will go to the next one here. Someone else saying, uh, F her family. She's finally gone. The racist colonizer is gone. And him going, but those were her best qualities. <laughs> Which is funny, because she didn't have any of those. No. <laughs> Literally but they would have been. Non-racist decolonizer. Yeah. yeah. There's a wonderful scene, actually, in The Crown, when, I can't remember which country, but they decide to go Republican. Mm. They abandon the monarchy, and they start burning all the portraits, and mm -hmm. a big show of how we're communists now. Yeah. And so she, the government falls out with our prime minister, and so she just invites the leader to a dinner. And the dude's like, yeah, all right. Which is really funny. Because <laughs> obviously they're like these African you know, warlords yeah, yeah, yeah. who took over and did these terrible things. Ooh, like, invited to dinner with the queen. <laughs> none of them have any principles. Yeah, like, they were they probably don't. educated in Oxford and Cambridge and then mm. were the only people in the area with the ability to take over. Yeah. And they're just doing it for a lull, almost. Just for power. It was for power, yeah. So they, they went on the dinner and the scene in the crown is actually her wooing him over. And then to the point he's like, ah, I'll take it back. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's ridiculous how like jolly some of this is. We get to the next one here. He also had some great memes about the RGs. <laughs> no angry RGs. You can't have your island back. Lol, lamal. Oh, did someone's ancestors not do it very well at war? Yes. Not even ancestors. Many no. of them are still alive. <laughs> yeah. It was only, what, 1984? Yeah. Where is Guilty Area? Was he killed in the end? Well, he must have been. I don't know. I don't care because it's Argentinian history, yeah, like cares? the rest of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't care. I so, only care about white history. <laughs> <laughs> Long-running meme. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. It's true though. Let's go to the RGs because <laughs> the RGs, of course, were very bitter yeah. in response to that. One of them responding: <laughs> "Keep on laughing, your queen dead, and no amount of money will bring her back." So, just as the, you were saying before, right? Is like all of these foreign takes on this. <laughs> really do sound as if everyone actually assumed Elizabeth was a mortal. Yes. Right? The Argentinians seem to have taken the perspective that they're all celebrating because she can actually die. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the British can lose, it turns out. It wasn't... <laughs> It's, it, they, they all have presumably told themselves, well, we, of course we'd offer to the British. They're immortal. Yeah. Like, they literally cannot lose at any they, thing yeah. they do. The, like, they literally treat Queen Elizabeth like she's a god emperor. And, oh, well, she's dead. Well, there we go. That's never happened before in British history, has it? It's like, no, we've never lost a king. Well, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to keep letting them believe it. Well, yeah, but... It's like, like turning up to a tribe and they're like, are you god? And you just go, yes. Oh. <laughs> what, what are we going to tell them no? Turn it up to the Argentinians and they're like... <laughs> Uh, the Argentinian salty man responds, yeah. uh, continuing. The world is cheering and celebrating. You are all disgusting morons and your tragedies bring the world <laughs> together as everyone can point and laugh at the pain of this asshole nobody likes. But everyone has lost to. Yeah. Because I, I saw... I, oh, I wish I'd got this together. Uh, like I saw, you know, uh, lefty Brits posting what I would consider massive dunks on the rest of the world. Like, you know, that, that uh, map of the world where it's like uh, 22 countries that Britain hasn't invaded... It's like, that's why nobody likes us. And so, like, well, that's why you can all cry. Yeah, exactly. That's why you can all cry about it. You know? I mean, we're happy to update the list. Yeah. If you insist. <laughs> However, thank you. So, but that's the thing. On, I mean, this, this list is like, you know, highly misleading anyway. Because, I mean, Argentina's, Argentina's on that. And it's like, yeah, but they invaded the Falklands, you know? Yeah, so, we, like, we did actually want to know. We landed in the Plata. Oh, did we? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, they Don't probably, worry, we won. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> but they had it coming. Uh, but Dan Killer responding here, of course. Uh, Falklands this, Falklands that. Maybe you should try forking some girls. Which is fantastic. There's more RG posting as well yeah. from him uh, in here. He goes the next it's, one. it's such a lovely trip, down, nostalgic trip down memory lane. It's like, look, this is when Britain beat everyone up. It's like, yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? It's almost like yeah. we're at the funeral of Her Majesty and there's all us and the friends and the family who know each other and she's like, yeah, mm. you know, it's a tough time, but thanks for being here. And then like all the salty brigade turn up for the other side of the family mm. who never liked her. And, but your side on the aisle just look over and go how embarrassing this is an embarrassing <laughs> gathering <laughs> combine all your GDPs it's still nothing anyway 
If we go to the next one here as well, <laughs> we also have uh, someone in here also yeah. molding some other foreigner saying uh, Dark Yo Musu. Don't know what that means. It's a Christmas for us. Now they've deleted it. It came very early this year. The next one, please, John. And uh, thank you for just responding. And uh, Wakanda forever to you too, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going very well. There's another one just the Nazi family thing, of course. A picture of um, that traitor who went over and met Adolf Hitler. That was a picture. It was just like, Nazi family? It was like, well, he was invited to one barbecue. Calm down. I mean, he did have to abdicate the throne, so... Yeah, for people who don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this was not, you know... This isn't the King of England. <laughs> his Majesty just hanging out with Hitler. <laughs> like, this, this was Edward after he resigned, became an international embarrassment, an embarrassment for the family... Uh, it, sort of in exile, and then went over and met the Nazis to orchestrate some kind of plan to get back on the throne of the Nazis one, which, of course, everybody hates him for and doesn't recognise him as anything legitimate and then died in exile in France, which then no one was particularly concerned about either. Mm. But if we go to the next one here, we have some Indian girl, of course, uh, who's uh, saying that, uh, you know, well, this will be Britain in a few years, though. Ooh, really? Yeah. Okay. Which is a weird, okay, interesting dog. Yeah, that's very interesting. The count, of course, could not respond with anything but touche. Good bands. But uh, no, no, that's that's uh, good to know. You know, that's certainly not going to be inflaming any racists or anything. <laughs> Being like, yeah, it's just soon. You okay. could become Pakistan. It's like, well, yeah, that is a good point. That is, mm. that is a bad thing. And, uh, and then the last one here, of course, being that, well, the foreigners may have good points, but their names are funny. There you have it. Mr. Heroin here. <laughs> just, I don't even care what you say. Your name is literally Heroin. Mm. There is one funny thing to mention here. I haven't mentioned it. It may not be fitting in this one, but more in yours, with the communists. Because mm. you see all these communist shills come out and they think it's their moment and it's really not. <laughs> but... <laughs> To really cover themselves in glory this time. One of the things is that it's all young commies. Yeah. It's all commies who are very young, do not know anything. I noticed that George Galloway didn't post that. No. Every elderly communist is actually producing statements of rest in peace. Mm. You know, the best we ever had. And it speaks to the fact that anyone who has any experience with these things <coughs> actually does know, uh, no, this, 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 this is a big loss and actually was mm. a great thing that we had going and is now gone. Yeah. But anyway, we'll leave it on Mr. Heroin to, to continue to cry about the situation and uh, the Count will continue to be enjoying himself. Otherwise, that's the you know Count having fun. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as this premium article from Noel Yaxley with an audio track for silver and gold tier members as well. If you want to find out what else we're putting out on Getter, you can follow us on Getter, of course, at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.